Council Member Jerry Davis asked him was I going to be long. <clears throat> but I don't know, you just have to ask the mayor this. Last time I highlight her, so I'm just wondering whether or not if I can highlight the mayor or not, if she don't want me to highlight her, no, I just want to do that. that. <laughs> you know, you know, she kicked off May Safe and Sunnyside. I really don't have to say that, Council Member, <laughs> but, you know, she only boarded up, you know, 100 homes, but I don't have to really say that. You know, 100 employees showed up in other direction of Katie Tipton in the Sunnyside area. You know, I really don't have to say that, but I guess I'm just going to go on record saying that. But I just want to commend the mayor for her uh, kicking off her cake. <laughs> her Make Safe Saturday, over 100 workers from the Department of Neighborhoods and the Houston Police Department of Public Works and Engineering joined community leaders such as the President Margaret Jenkins, who's the president of the Sunnyside Crestmont Super Neighborhood and boarding up 15 abandoned homes in the Sunnyside areas. The properties that were boarded up did not qualify for demolition, but were open and unsafe. Uh, this initiative is a commitment to the city of Houston to make our neighborhood safer. I remember the mayor did a drive along through the Sunnyside area and looked at some of the homes and Director Tipton said, you know, some of the houses won't qualify. But otherwise, we can't board them up. So thank you for keep, uh, kicking off uh, Make Safe Saturday in Sunnyside on this past um, weekend. And uh, also, just want to um, also, I just want to make a couple of comments. And part of my uh, again, my visit on in Washington D.C. And, and going to some of the symposiums and some of the seminars. The big conversation now is dealing with sequestration. I just want to read something to you um, that. Um, that was written down. It said, while most mandatory programs such as Medicaid, Social Security, temporary assistance for the needy families, and food stamps programs were exempted from the sequester, almost every other federal program will be cut. And while military pay was exempted, military benefits such as tuition assistance and TRICARE programs, which provide health care um, to personnel and their families, were not. Here are just a few examples that was written down on this past weekend that will be cut. Childhood vaccinations is estimated to be about 212,000 children will not be vaccinated. Um, Head Start, almost $100,000 fewer low-income children will not be served. Screening for breast and cervical cancer, as many as 34,000 fewer women will not be screened. Meals on wheels for seniors who are not able to get out, 17 million fewer meals will be served. Uh, Medicare will be cut by 2%. So this is something that we really have to look at when we see that our legislators or our representative in Washington, when we're talking about sequestration, this is really, really important because who it will affect. It will affect women and children for cervical cancer, breast cancer screening. You know, you're talking about cutting <coughs> funding in these particular areas. This is really important. So I would just like to tune our constituents, I know that you challenge us on city council for your local government, but I would like to encourage you to contact your congressional leaders as well on this sequestration because this is something that will affect us on the ground. When you talk about vaccination among our children, head start programs, and breast cancer and cervical screening, I know that Councilman McCormick is really concerned about. So you think about 34,000 women that will not be able to receive this service. This is something that's really, really, really important. So please make your voices heard to your congressional leaders. This is something that we talked about this weekend with the NAACP. This is something that we really have to take charge on. We're talking about how it will affect us locally here in Houston. And also, I want to say congratulations to Yates. I hear that you're going uh, to state, so I look forward to victory and what you're getting ready to do on moving forward. Because you know what? It's only in the trade that great things happen uh, in basketball. But thank you, Councilmember Jerry Davis. Jerry Davis not turning the table on TV.